Hello, uh, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing uh, a straight line and this is the lecture number 16. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 15 before watching this part 16. Let us discuss some more questions from the miscellaneous exercise and these are quite interesting questions. A uh, lot of things has to learn through this question. So please uh, pay attention and listen it carefully. Try to understand if there is any difficulty you will ask uh, us sir. Uh, on uh, the next class thank you so let us start this so the first question is here and the first question is question number uh, we can start from the first question and first question is uh, question number 18 today and that is find the image of point find the image of point image of point 3 8 with respect to the line with respect to the line with respect to the line x plus 3y is equal to 7 assuming that assuming the line line to be a plane mirror to be a plane mirror plane mirror so here uh, the line is like plane mirror and we have to find the first foot of perpendicular then only image can be written. If this is a say this one is a line and uh, line is here only this is a like plane mirror and P is any point on it line is here and uh, say this is a line plane mirror plane mirror it means there is a uh, sided portion no? this is just something which is a pair sided this is the right no? so image can be determined image can be determined with this line this is what the mirror right this is the right this is the other side so that image can be formed right and now point is a point is there p <coughs> p be any point so if point is here then the distance of this point from mirror is equal to in plane mirror this is the characteristic of plane mirror that at the same distance the image will form right now so image will form at the same distance right so here what will happen the image of p will form here at p dash that is point will look square only. So P is the point image will be at P dash. If this point is 3 8 image we don't know what will be the image say X and Y is the image. This is a point which is called foot of perpendicular so it is said to be Q and that can be considered as uh, alpha and beta. We can say like this right. So alpha and beta is the midpoint uh, of P and P dash. Equation of line is given here x plus 3y is equal to 7. x plus 3y is equal to 7. This is the equation of line and this is a mirror. So here uh, if solution we can write here mirror is x plus 3y is equal to 7. So any line perpendicular to it because PQ is perpendicular now. So any line perpendicular to perpendicular to x plus 3y is equal to 7 is 3x minus y plus k is equal to 0 right any line perpendicular to it since it passes through this must be perpendicular because image must be perpendicular since one is passes through one is passes through passes through one is passes through 3 comma 8 hence it will satisfy the equation 3 into 3 minus 8 plus k is equal to 0 9 minus 8 that is 1 plus k is equal to 0 and therefore k is equal to minus 1 hence equation of line pq and therefore equation of line pq is 
लाइन पी क्यू इज वट थ्री एक्स माइनस वाई माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ द गिवन लाइन इज द गिवन लाइन इज द गिवन इक्वेशन ऑफ मेरर मेरर लाइन मेरर लाइन इज एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई राइट ना एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू सेवन माई इज इक्वल टू सेवन दैट इज थर्ड सो सॉल्विंग सेकेंड एंड थर्ड सॉल्विंग सेकेंड एंड थर्ड टू गेट पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन solving second and third to get point of intersection uh, we can solve it how to solve it you can put the value of y from second from second y is equal to 3x minus 1 and putting in third putting it in third we have we get y is x plus Three times of three x minus one is equal to seven. That will be three three is a nine x plus six ten x is equal to ten, and therefore x is equal to one. And since x is equal to one, therefore y is equal to three x minus one. That is three into one minus one. That is two. So point of intersection is one comma two, and therefore point of intersection. intersection that is also called foot of perpendicular that is foot of perpendicular is also called foot of perpendicular perpendicular and coordinate is q that is 1 comma now uh, let p dash be the image let p dash x comma y be the image of image of p then q must be midpoint must be midpoint and therefore one is equal to x coordinate is equal to what will happen point is 3 comma 8 na so 3 plus x by 2 3 plus x by 2 This employee and y is and y is two is eight plus y by two. This employee x and y are this will be two minus three minus one. X is minus one and y is this employee x is what x is two minus three that is minus one and y is Two to the four. Eight four minus eight is minus four. So P dash is minus one minus four. That will be answer. So this is the coordinate of uh, line, coordinate of point. I hope you got it. Okay. Next question is there, and that question is nineteen. Nineteen questions. Let us solve it. And nineteen question is there. We can do that. Question number nineteen and nineteen is if the line, if the line y is equal to three x plus one and two y is equal to x plus three are equally inclined, are equally inclined, equally inclined to the line. To the line y is equal to m x plus four. Find the value of m. Find the value of m. Value of m. Right? Why, if a line equally inclined with this line, right? Now two lines equally inclined with two lines. Then find the value of m. so here if you think like uh, there is a line say this is a line which is equally inclined with two lines right now how to deal with triangle this is a line 
right and this line is equally inclined with two other lines like this one is there and it can be possible that um, one more line that can be this one is there right so equally inclined means what this angle is theta then this angle is also theta so this angle is in anti clockwise direction that is theta say then this must be clockwise direction theta so angle must be uh, if this tan theta then that will be minus tan theta right now so angle between them lines two lines this line is already given y is equal to 3x plus 1 say y is equal to 3x plus 1 and this line is y is equal to 2y is equal to x plus 3 so 1 by 2x plus 3 by 2 so slope of the lines are given here that is 1 by 2 this is slope here say slope of this line is n right now and slope of this line is m1 m1 is what and what is m2 here that is 1 by 2 so slope of lines are given this is theta then that will be minus tan theta now we can write let m be the slope of let m be the slope of line slope of line which equally inclined which equally inclined to the line inclined to the lines y is equal to 3x plus 1 and 2y is equal to two y is equal to x plus 3 2y is equal to x plus 3. It is not let, but since it is already given here, so we can write since m be the slope of line which are equally inclined and uh, let theta be the angle made by the line. Let theta made by line made by line with each one of them with each one of them each one of them each one of them them right then tan theta is equal to one of them is tan theta tan theta is equal to what first one is make theta and second one will be minus theta so what will be that m minus slope if this is what is the slope slope of this is 3 so 3 upon 1 plus 3 m right and second one will be and tan of minus theta is equal to m minus half upon 1 plus m by 2 right this is so clearly this employee m minus 3 upon 1 plus 3m is equal to minus of m minus half upon 1 plus m by 2 right because tan minus theta is minus tan theta so that can be written as minus sign negative sign and what will be that then it will be m minus 3 upon 1 plus 3m is equal to minus 2m minus 1 upon 2 plus m so it, if you can solve this then what will happen that will be m minus 3 into 2 plus m plus 2m minus 1 into 1 plus 3m is equal to 0 and that can be calculated as 2m plus m square minus 6 minus 3m plus 6m square isn't it minus 3m plus 2m minus 1 is equal to 0 so 6m square plus m square is 7m square 2m minus 3m minus 3m minus 3m minus 6m and 2m plus 2m is 4m 4m minus 6m is minus 2m minus 6 minus 1 is minus 7 is equal to 0 
so that can be solved by using quadratic equation and you know that quadratic equation if x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 then value of x is minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4ac upon 2a you know that so using the same thing here uh, you will be able to do this x m is equal to what is m m is 2 minus b minus of minus 2 plus minus root under 4 b square that is 4 minus 4 into a c and c is also minus 7 that is plus 7 divided by 2 into 7 so that will be 2 plus minus 7 7 of 49 49 into 4 this is 200 and uh, 49 plus 150 200 200 is in uh, 10 root 2 so 10 root 2 divided by 14 so it can be written as 14 14 isn't it so that can be written as 14 2 if i take common and therefore m is equal to m is equal to what will come uh, 1 plus minus 5 to 2 by 7 and that will be answer of this question i hope you got it okay now let us solve some other question and that is question number 20 now let us solve question number 20 and the question number 20 is if the sum of perpendicular distance is if the sum of perpendicular distance is perpendicular distance is sum of, of a variable point x y of a variable point x y p x y from the lines from the lines x plus y x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0 is always 10 is always 10 so that p moves on a line so that p moves on a line that will be p lies on a line okay so sum of perpendicular distances from this perpendicular distances from this is 10 solution we know the length of perpendicular length of perpendicular from point x1 y1 to the line to the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is ax1 plus by1 plus c upon under root a square plus b square right now and therefore using the same we have here so according to question length of perpendicular from xy to this xy is here also and xy is there also so if it was x1 y1 we can replace but because it is xy so we can put it same so therefore according to question according to question x plus y minus 5 upon under root 1 square plus 1 square this is the length of perpendicular from xy to this line plus xy length of perpendicular from xy to this line will be also same 3x minus 2y plus 7 3x minus 2y plus 7 upon under root 3 square plus 2 square is equal to 10 this is what given so we can so this can be written as x plus y minus 5 upon root 2 plus 3x minus 2y plus 7 upon root 13 is equal to 10. Now we can take calcium uh, root 13 x plus y minus 5 plus root 2 times 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 10 root 26. Can I write like this? Okay. 
and therefore it will comes like root 13 x plus 3 root 2 x root 13 plus 2 root 3 into x plus root 13 from y and here minus 2 root 2 into y right and minus 5 root 13 plus 7 root 2 is equal to 10 root 26. This imply root 13 plus 2 root 3 into x plus root 13 minus 2 root 2 into y right and plus that will be minus or uh, plus 7 root 2 minus 5 root 13 minus 10 root 26 and is equal to 0. This is in form of since this is in form of form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 hence it represent hence 1 represent a straight line a straight line and y is p x y lies on move on it move on it that will be answer of this question okay now since i have taken here the positive value of both it is possible it may be this one is positive and this one is negative in that case what will happen case two if uh, case two x plus y minus what about that x plus y this is case first case first when both of them are positive I have written here when both of them are positive, right now. x plus y by 5 upon root 2 is positive and this one is negative. And what is that? This one is 3x minus 2y plus 7. 3x minus 2y plus 7 upon root 13 is equal to 10. In that case also, it will be 13x root 13x root 13 will multiply this side x plus y minus 5 and root 2 will multiply this side that will be 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 10 root 26 that further can be written as again this is a system of line passing through two points you can also write like this but uh, here it will be root 13 minus 3 root 2 into x isn't it plus root 13 and there will be 2 root 2 into y minus 5 root 13 and here it will be <coughs> 7 root 2 minus 10 root 26 is equal to 0 if i took negative sign then all of them will be positive so this will be the answer i hope you got it that is also a straight line. This will also represent a straight line. This is in form of in form of x plus by plus c is equal to zero. Hence, it represent a straight line. Hence, it represent it represent a straight line. A straight line, right? Now the next one is case three. Case three can be there that both of them are negative so in that case what will happen repeat the same thing x plus y minus 5 by root 2 both of them are negative that is x plus y minus 5 by root 2 is negative and 3x minus 2y 3x minus 2y plus 7 3x minus 2y plus 7 upon root 13 is also negative and that is equal to 10 in that case it will nothing else but x plus y minus 5 into root 13 times and plus root 2 times of 3x minus 2y plus 7 3x plus 2y uh, plus 7 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to minus 10 root 26 this minus both the minus is transferred multiply by minus it will be like this 
so everything will be same that will be a uh, similar like the first one you know and uh, here it will be similar like the first one but except this one will be negative so that will be 13 plus 2 root 3x right now so this will be 13 plus 2 root 3x root 13 plus 3 root 2x isn't it and plus root 13 minus 2 root 2y right and uh, this will be 7 plus root 2 minus 5 plus root 13 plus 10 plus root 26 is equal to 0 this will be also a, a straight line so this is also this is in form of in form of this is in form of of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 hence represent a straight line hence represent a straight line a, a straight line right that will be split now case 4 can be deal with that first one is negative and second one is positive case 4 when x plus y minus 5 upon root 2 is negative and 3x minus 2y plus 7 3x minus 2y plus 7 upon root 13 is equal to 10 is positive so in that case this would be minus uh, root 13 into x plus y minus 5 plus root 2 times of 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 10 root 26 and in that case it will be 3 root 2 3 root 2 minus root 13 into x right and uh, minus 2 root 2 plus root 13 into y and here it will be 7 root 2 minus minus plus 5 root 13 minus 10 root 26 is equal to 0 that will also represent a straight line so all these four cases this is also in form of this is in form of <coughs> form of x plus by plus c is equal to 0 hence it will represent a straight line it represent a straight line I represent a straight line right so in all those four cases it will represent a straight line and surely b x y moves on a straight line so ye question bahut lamba tha it is a too long question and thoda pak out type ka bhi tha lekin kya karoge question to question hai aapko solve to karna hi padega hai na so that is why uh, you can do it practice it again and again only one case is also enough but technically it is not correct so that is why all four cases is to be considered here and that is why um, it's take too long time to solve it so i'm also tired right now the throat is uh, getting jammed and uh, <clears throat> i'm unable to proceed right now thank you very much for watching this god bless and i'll see you in the next session till then bye bye god bless <coughs>